this is written like an old school musical. You know, we have we have an in one curtain. That's where the sort of show curtain will come in, and uh, stuff will change behind it. You know, and uh, uh, as I as I said, I tried thinking of other ways to do that, but it really doesn't work. And it's just this is so structured so beautifully um, that let's just embrace it, and that's what we're going to do. So uh, we really have the the two locales, and then there's a lot of you know little other parts of these two locales, but it's basically the backstage and uh, the world of the show uh, of The Taming of the Shrew. Um, as I started thinking in big term terms in, in the design of it, I really wanted to sort of contrast those two worlds. And uh, as Cal says, there are, there are some really sort of moving and serious relationships and issues that come up here. And, uh, in that vein, I think the backstage world that we've tried to create, I, I really sort of wanted to make that, a, you know, feel as real as it could, you know, as opposed to painterly. Um, and then to contrast that when we get into the world of our Taming of the Shrew, to sort of have more possibilities with that world. So as Cal says, we can sort of segue into sort of camp when we need to. Um, so that world then became much more painterly you know, and free form, so that would be much more lively. And uh, I sort of, you know, as I thought about what would this world be, you know, you sort of think about your sort of a, you know, a nice oil painting of, a, of you know, Tuscany. You know, that's really what I thought of and, and you know, ultimately came up with.